Right guys, we are here in the Stoughton Strength Centre today. As you can see, we have got new merchandise on. The Gavin built-ins, Robert Oberst, and Simon has got JF Caron's. Go check that out now for a whole range of merchandise. Thank us later. Anyway, today is deadlift day, but why have we got a car? Oh, I don't know, Tom. Why have we got a car? We just thought it'd be good crap to let do a car for once, eh? You know what I mean? Yeah, apparently there could be a side-handled or front-handled deadlift in World's Strongest Man. So that must mean one thing. We have a car, a van, a, a pickup, and a car deadlift frame. So today is a... Uh, <laughs> what? I, I keep going, it's Sorry. good. No, it's good. Today we have got, yeah, we're going to do some uh, side-handled deadlifts, some our usual accessory stuff, and at the end we're going to do some trap pulls. Uh, we've not done trap pull in a while, so we thought we had to start adding these in. So yeah, be prepared for some uh, maybe funniness, maybe some fails, maybe some failed reps. Who knows? We're just going to try it and see what happens. But we haven't got, we haven't taken this uh, car deadlift frame out for a while. One of the guys that helped Tom found out there was some dog poo on it. So when he picked up, there was dog poo in his hand, which wasn't very nice. So hopefully the welding is still okay. We are going to go warm up with the trap bar in the gym first. Then we're going to come out here and see. Obviously we don't know the weight of this, you know, we're just going to warm up to about 200 kilograms, maybe do a single at this and see what happens and take it from there. And uh, bon appetit. Merci beaucoup. I think 16 inches, yeah. And it has to be 9. There you go. <laughs> Day. As Tom was saying, we're going to start warming up with the trap bar. It's not 100% like pulling a, a, deadli a deadlift and a car pull or truck pull, whatever it is, but it certainly mimics it um, as best as we can. So we're going to warm up. It's uh, I think it's 40 kilos empty. Warm up to 200, 220, whatever it is, and then we'll go out and we'll try the the frame, the car deadlift frame. The main difference is the width, it's a lot wider. The car deadlift frame is a lot wider than the, the trap bar. It's a little bit different, so we'll see. Might even do some holds in that as well, I might do some. Uh, that's what I was just about to say. Oh, great minds, think alike. You know why that is? Because Tom and I are vibrating on the same level. Tom's vibrations, so Tom's again, frequency. Tom's frequency, my frequency, same level. <laughs> we might do farmer's holds. Every hold event we've done at World Strawers, man, well, a deadlift hold has been a car, so, you know, holding 100k in your hands is easier than holding 300 plus in your hands and it's a difference as well, so I think doing heavy holds will benefit us as well, so you know, we can go hold like 100k in our hands all day and then think, oh, our grip's good go to World's Strongest Man and end up failing a car hold after 20 seconds because it's 400k and our attendants are falling off World's Strongest Man is fast approaching Tom Stoltman and Luke Stoltman have just stepped up the game Are you ready? Because we are the game. We're using the Silverback uh, figure of eights, which are fast becoming our favourite kind of figure of eight straps. So again, pretty simple with the, the figure of eights, just pop them in, it locks your hand in place, and they're over. And that, my friends, is the job done. And then you just have to lift. Yeah, so that's warm ups over. Now we're going to try and move over to lifting a fake car. Hey. How heavy is it roughly? 100k. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do you want to try and see? It's just have to wing it, bro. That's what my life's about. Fasten your seatbelt, Harry. It's going to be a bumpy ride. You should go in the back and see how bumpy. We've got some plates just in the back of the pickup. Like 90 kilos worth of plates. And some petrol cans. But 
it was just because we needed to take them up to the warehouse for our power stairs. So this wasn't intentional. But we'll just leave them in because we're too lazy to take them out. Nope. <laughs> That's so stupid. Waste of fucking time. Probably better to Rick film it when we got it sussed <laughs> than that. Because I knew this was going to be a, an on and off session, so I don't know. Do you think it's the weight of the car or the setup? The weight of the car. I'm just pissed off that we even tried it. <sighs> Frustrating. So what's your plan now? Are you going to go back to normal deadlifts? Or? <laughs> yeah, probably just going to do some. Yeah. It's frustrating because it kind of scanners your session now. It is what it is. Where are we going now? We're going to swap cars. So, Simon has kindly offered to take his car down. Which in reality we should have done. It's my own fault. It shouldn't have been stupid. Put a fucking... Sorry, I shouldn't have put a... thought we could put a pickup on it straight away. It's extremely heavy. Plus there's weight in the back, so... Simon will get his car, won't you Simon? Yep. Chuck it on. And I'll probably still fail. <laughs> um, oh, it's just annoying, man. I just hate fanning about. But it is what it is. We'll get it sorted. I got to stop being a little moany, a little moany mini, because moaning doesn't solve anything, does it, guys? No. So, I mean, Simon's car is quite substantial. Oh my gosh! Dun dun dun. <laughs> Left a wee bit. Jeez. Jeez. Well, go forward. Go on, go on, go on. Well, yeah. Drop. Right back a little bit. Stop. Is that you, Bugsy? <laughs> <laughs> so you actually thought we were going to lift a pickup? Of course, we're not going to do that. A big mad bird just above my head. So that was just a little prank. <laughs> Obviously it's our first time doing it in a while. We're gonna go for Simon's little Kia Picanto, balancing a little bit precariously on the deadlift frame. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is that way better than the pickup? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah buddy. Beautiful. This is Simon, you're welcome to drive in. <laughs> you need to go in that GTR. Out steps the Stig. You know what I'm saying? What's the thinking behind this, Tom? Engine on a car's heaviest, so flip that little picanto around. Should be heavy. Go I'm going to eat food and add a whole pizza onto the weight. Yeah. How's that compared to? That's yeah, better. It's still a bit light, but it's good. It's good. It's weird how it moves, huh? It's weird how it moves about. It's that first rip. It's still light, so what we're doing is moving the the handles closer to the the front of the car, so the handles then closer to the the kind of pivot point. So it should be heavier. So we're sitting three three holes clear. So we were seven, I think it was. That should add a bit of weight. So it's just about getting the feel, I think, this week for it. Pickup wasn't the best going for it, first of all. This feels better, this feels... At least we can do some reps with it and just get that feeling. So I'll probably do a set with this, see how it feels, if it's too light. So I'll sit in the car, 
Poor Simon's car, man. Jeez. What's the difference between this and a normal deadlift? It's it's the pivot point, so because you're you're pulling and it's kind of pulling you backwards as well. So because the, the car, the weight's on the back of it, and you've got two handles. So as you pull up, it's kind of going that way. So you kind of go up and round. Whereas a normal deadlift bar, it's just up and down. It is a little bit different, and you're it's predetermined the position on the side handle. So that width is the width, you can't change the width. It's just a little bit different. We'll keep persevering. It's one of these days where we have to persevere. Oh, that's better. That's better. Putting uh, handles closer to the car, you can feel it a wee bit. Yeah, that's, yes. that's what you're meant to do. Are you going to stand on the frame? Yeah, because I'm sitting. 165 at the moment, so I'll just add a little bit more weight to it, see how it goes. And it's closer to Tom as well, that weight is a lot closer, so probably be pretty horrible. What do you mean, bro? It's good. Yes. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, wait. Tom's so heavy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's heavier than a car. <sighs> oh, mate, look. Can't even fit in the deadlift suit. That was, What's the other one? That was literally twice as heavier than the first one. <sighs> Another three sets of that. You're right. You on again? No. Come on, pump out. Good, Tom, come on. Oh. Tom does one more. I have to do one more. I left the deadlifts. Why are you laughing at? One more. I want to do one more rep. Just getting it set up and then finally we got Simon's car. Engine facing looks stood on it, so it was perfect weight. Uh, could feel the weight it was heavy. Two sets of that done. Side handle deadlifts and then now we're on to accessories, three or four exercises. Then we're going to do trap pull. It, oh, it just took a while to get set up, but I think Tom was right. You know, it's good to get the, the apparatus sorted and kind of getting used to that um, frame. Because even if it's front handled um, frame, even if it's normal deadlift, this type of deadlift still increases. You know, it's good for our conditioning, it's good for our strength. So, as Tom says, we did two sets of eight. Tom stood in it. Tom's very heavy at the moment. It was tough. That last one was tough. I stopped and kind of repositioned my feet as well. So, that made a difference. If, you're, if your feet are too far forward, it doesn't go as well if your feet are too far back. Obviously, it doesn't go as well, but it was good. Yeah, happy we got that done. And then it's on to some accessories.
Just for his leg press, so it was a bit lighter leg press today. That little bit of a pump on. We are doing trap pull soon, so we're going to finish off uh, our accessories. We've got hamstrings, uh, line hamstring curls to do. Then we're going to go up and try and do some trap pull, which will be fun. It's been a good session so far, so quite high intensity, quite a lot of work. Nice and sweaty, which is nice. So, we will see you after we do some leg curls. I think Luke was getting a bit peed off, as, you, as he said, but if I obviously trying the deadlift, but it's, it's trial and error, you know. Obviously, the pickup was far too heavy to Chanel. We got Simon's car on it, and you can see it was light, really light at the start. We put the handles in, it was still a bit light, and then we flipped this car around so the engine was facing, put the handles in, and then Luke stood in it for me, and I stood in it for him, and yeah, it felt like it was over 300 anyway, so that was a good confident booster. Usually, we just kind of end it and go now nah, we're not doing it today but it's good because you know car deadlifts much it's so much different than a um, normal deadlift high uh, so it's really good that we got that done and then we're gonna now go do some trap pull again which is gonna be new to us and it's just again about trial and error but let's see what happens I know I had to do a trap pull in a while so it's gonna be sore baby it's gonna be sore I had a knife I put a knife in the car as well I know if you're not. This one's there, just right over there. Like that. Let's see if that will work. That's good. And then to get the harness out in the back of it. That's definitely what this is for. <laughs> you can like lean into it to say because the handbrake's off. Yeah, that's so Just say to Tom here with the you just put the handbrake on for like a couple of clicks, clicks sorry. And then put it on a couple more if it's too easy, then let it off, go and then towards the end when you're tired, you know, let it go again just to get it done. So um it felt pretty decent I. It was hard, this is the one that I need to work on for him and stuff because that was tough with the handbrake on, it's only a fun a pickup so Oh, we'll get there. Yeah. Come on, Luke. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. There let's we go. go. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Come on, Luke. Keep going, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, it's the last bit, come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's disgusting. Come on, Tommy. That's an easy, let's go. Let's go, Tommy. Yep. Come on, Tom. Pull it, come on. Keep pulling, come on. Pulling, come on. Pull, 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 pull. You're close, bro. Come on. Almost there, mate. Come on. Help me out, Tom. Come on, come on. 
Tom. That's easy. Come on, almost there. Come on, Tom. Almost there. Come on, keep going. Come on, keep going. Tom, check me out. Oh, oh, oh. Look. Oh, nice and easy. Keep going. Come on, look, everything. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. That was our uh, three sets of truck pull done. Tom and I were chatting about how it was best to do it, so we made the start really hard. So we had the handbrake on quite a few clicks, and then after like five seconds or so of pulling, let it go slightly, and then we just kind of fed it just kind of back and forth depending on how hard um, it was. So. I think you said it was good to get the legs kind of feeling like that, wasn't it? it was yeah, slap the grass said build up, build up in the forearms. It's our first proper week doing it, so it's nice to do not just one set, it's pointless doing three sets. So, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing it every week. I think if we do three sets every week like that, we'll be fine for it. So, yeah, it was good, man. Especially after doing car deadlift, again, our first week of that, and then the accessories in between it was hard. So, our legs were already fatigued going into this, which is good. So, yeah, so it mimics. Yeah, I'll mimic kind of competition environment, obviously, you know, with track pool. Usually isn't a first event, even if it is, it's still good practice because we're conditioned, we've done the car deadlift, we've done the accessories. As Tom says, we're kind of really fatigued anyway, so, uh, yeah, really happy with that. Deadlifts felt good, accessories were fine. Track pool was brutal, but we got it done. And it wasn't too much faffing around either, you know, it's kind of set it up and that was it. We were going to put the, the mirror fit sled to the front of the pickup, but, I think it's easier just with the, the handbrake to gauge the... If we need any more weight, we just put people on the back of it, so it's easy as that. So if you want to come and be our weight for the truck pool, comment below, and uh, yeah, we'll get you over. And also, again, just as a reminder, we're exceptionally proud that we can do other merchandise for other athletes, all really great athletes, so um, please keep supporting. And yeah, let's make the sport of strongman something really special because that's what you want to do every every world's strongest man athlete full-time athlete i've been treated the way they should be like professional athletes anyway tom stay safe smile and stay spicy and please 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 don't forget to ring that little bell ding -a -ling -a -ling -ling. tommy fact i'm too tired today uh tommy fact the grass has not always been green what color has it been that's for you to find out <laughs>